how to change a race brake disc. Today we are going to show you how to mount a packet racing brake disc and for this purpose we've got a Cayman GT4 race car. But first we need to remove the old kit. For the Cayman GT4 race car we start by removing the caliper from the upright by loosening the two nuts from their studs. Following, we remove the two axial fixation bolts from the brake discs. And finally, we are able to remove the brake disc. Now we are going to talk about how to assemble packet racing race brake discs. We already have our friction ring, mounting bell, bobbin set, including screws, nuts and rings. Uh, ideally, we need the support of a third hand for the optimal assembly of these kind of discs. For this purpose, we are today at Manta Racing. Now we've got our mechanic, Max. Hello. Hello. With the corresponding tooling as well. It is recommended to use gloves for this purpose, which I will also do. And we can start. The tooling is very, very simple. Most importantly, we need a, a torque wrench for that. And initially, we will tighten the screws hand fix. Important is to do it crosswise. So after tightening all screws with 14 newton meters, we are ready with the assembly process. The axial and radial float is available. In cases it is not perceivable, you can use a rubber hammer, give a couple of touches and you will notice it's perceivable. Mm -hmm. Well, we are now ready to go to the car and carry on with the process. Thank you very much, Max. How to assemble a brake disc, we already showed you. Now Max is going to show you how to put it onto the car. We start by placing the newly assembled packet disc on the hub. Afterwards, we fix it actually with the two bolts. The final step consists of placing the caliper on the upright and fixing it to the studs. And one last fact, under race conditions, the whole operation can be performed in just about one minute. <laughs> 